Hello guys, this is today I am going to tell you how you can make your own HTML GUIs in Python with Python backend. So if you want to know uh, the secret, be with me. So the first thing we will need to install is EEL. So EEL stands for um, Electron I think so, uh, which is written Python. So it's see Python and all that. So my requirement all satisfied because, because I have already installed it. So now we will head over towards my um, sublime text. So I have created a main.py in I have created a joy folder. In the joy folder I have created main.py and in the web directory I have created a main.html and a main.js file. So first thing you need to inst um, write in main.py is inst import eel. So that's obvious reason we have told you to install eel. So now if you want to check that if eel is installed you can just import eel and just name the python file if there are no errors eel is successfully installed on your pc or on your machine so now we will write eel.init and pass in that folder which uh, you have created raw files so in my case it's web folder and main and which were main.html and main.css and we will write eel.start and what we have to start is the main.html that's the basic file and we will save that and just go to a python and run that so as you can see here our GUI is opened so now there might be case where you face an error something like um a uh, big error something like socket error the code is not defined so in that case what you have to do is just write port uh, host is equal to local host and port sorry for that <coughs> and port is equal to and and define uh, write another port so now if we run that see the port is now different so this is the uh, way you can tackle that problem now i will cancel these out because i have no problem with that port 8000 so now what you have to do is just create a basic html file and title we're going to do is gui and you can use all different stylings here so that's the advantage of using html so you can just do h1 is equal to welcome to add function okay. function and then we have to just run our python main.py and as you can see here that we have written an h1 tag in the python gui so now we will cut that and uh, you can use all your stylings to create that you create to use a website you can use it there so now we are going to make the header tag as script and source is equal to dot slash eel dot js so why we are writing eel dot js so when we run our main.py it automatically creates a eel.js in the root folder so that's we are referencing for the communication with our main.js file so now we have created a main.js file we have to also specify it so source is equal to main.js okay so now we will create a function to add two numbers with the python backend so what we have going to do is just create a form and an input tag input type is going to be text and id is going to be um let's say num okay data one and the placeholder will going to be right num one and we will just copy this whole line and paste it again and let's change it to data two and write num2 and then we will create a button so input type is button and value will going to be submit and save that now we will 
make a br tag there br and br and let's say what it looks like so i will clear my screen and just run the so as you can see welcome to add function here is our num2 so here is our num2 and as you can see you can select and you can submit so i cut that for now and let's now create a addition function in our main.py so def add num1 num2 and i will return int version of num2 so while it will so we have writing uh, we are writing int because this uh, the value we are getting is the text so we will return int function so int num1 plus int num2 add the rate yield dot expose and that's it so what yield dot expose does is it exposes the add function to our javascript side so now we will create an on submit button so not on submit on click so we will run the code and save that and now function code and what we are going to do is just take the parameters so first one is the num1 is equal to document dot get element by id and the id was data1 and num2 was document dot get element by id is data2 and now we will use eel dot add so what was it eel dot add and we will write num1 and pass in the num2 and create a callback function for that and function with the return value and for now we will just console the log the return value and just save that and this is done this is done and let's run our main dot so I open my dev tools make that here and now I will write my num1 so num1 has num1 and 2 has 2 and save that ok file what it's writing not a dict int argument must be a string not a dict so why we are saying that ok we have to return the value there so value and save that and just cut that all and run the python main.py and just open the dev console and write to write to and to and submit that as you can see the return value has been printed okay so there I have a return value in the string maybe you have caught that now I will again so you have to make a good understanding of JavaScript I'm not good that I'm not that good at JavaScript so so for and 4 and submit that as you can see my output is it so now we will make that a paragraph tag <coughs> sorry we will make it in a paragraph tag and just run that so p id is equal to result res and main.js we'll cut that line and var para is equal to document dot get element by id and um, is res so get the id as res 
and just write para dot inner html and what is the return value <coughs> so just cut that and run that again so as you can see four four submit that eight so in this way you can make your own gui using html css with python backend so thank you for watching if you have any doubts you can comment below till then stay tuned with me